check it out. This is JD. <laughs> Being so so deaf recordings presents the Brett. Tat tat tat. Who's that making that funky noise? You know what I'm saying? We gonna give y'all the inside scoop. So how we did this album and how it went down. Where it took place and where she from. And you know what I'm saying? What's the route we getting ready to go? Everything. How she became the first female rapper solo to go platinum. So what you need to do is just lay back, kick it, and enjoy this ride. Check it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up to all y'all motherfuckers out in the land watching this shit? <laughs> this my new little home video thing so everybody can get to know me better and whatever, whatever. I'm kicking it in Jermaine's crib in the little studio part just to ghetto wall everybody that then came through put their little tag on it. And if you don't know by now by just watching this motherfucker, <laughs> I'm the brat. What's up, big baby? From the bottom to the top, top to bottom and back. See, now as I lay me in the cut, getting fucked up. <laughs> it stopped. What happened? I'm trying to think about the first time I heard rap music. Damn. The macaroni soggy, the cheese all mushed and the chicken tastes like wood. Just start trying to write poems and raps and stuff and just kick it like the big ballers because I wanted to be like them. Run DMC, LL Cool J, um, Heavy D, um, NWA, Slick Rick, Eric B and Rakim, MC Light, Queen Latifah, the female pioneers, no doubt. All these motherfuckers want to talk about East Coast and West Coast. Well, I ain't from L.A. and I ain't from New York. I'm from Chicago, you know what I'm saying? Right smack dab in the motherfucking middle of the shit. Midwest. I'm making fat to death, so, so deaf, chronic feel, blunt smoking ass, kick it to music. <laughs> One night I had this dream and I woke up in sweat and it was just about me being down with Criss Cross and Jermaine Dupri, and I was like, oh my God, I think that the dream was like, I don't know, in July, and then Criss Cross came in October, and I got to go to the concert, and it all just happened right after that. Criss Cross had a contest, and Ed Lover and Todd won. They give like crowd participation right before the show, and they say, can anybody sing, rap, or dance, or whatever, $50 to the winner. And I rapped and everybody liked me and the crowd applauded more for me so that made me win the contest and I won the $50 and then I just went back to sit, at, sit down in my seat. I didn't know that, you know, Chris Smith was going to send his bodyguard to come find me. Later he invited me to the Oprah Winfrey show which is held in Chicago and that's when I met Jermaine Dupri and then we told him that we were going to come to Atlanta. Uh, he took us to his house, I rapped for him and he liked me and like two weeks later he sent papers. Monday starts out light, but ends up very heavy. It's the night approach when I take flow. Hey, I'm supposed to be doing this for real. Yeah. Well, after I had rapped for Jermaine Dupri, uh, he was like, uh, I need you to write a part for Criss Cross song, The Bomb, because that's, that's how we're going to debut you. So I was like, OK, I'll write the part for the song. So I wrote the part, and he liked it automatically. And he was like, OK, we got to do it. So we went into the studio. And uh, he, Chris and Chris already had put their part down. So all I had to do was lay my part down, and it was finished. Action. Hey, this is Skeeter Rock. Hey, this is Skeeter Rock. Welcome to the celebration. You brothers and sisters have finally reached the pinnacle of Funk. Funkified is a song that me and Jermaine came up with in like one day and we decided that, that would be the first single since it was the first song and he came up with the, the track he was like hey brad i got this fat track you got to write to it i was like okay so we wrote like back and forth to each other since it's like a duet and i was like hey jamey check this out humming the humming the coming up at you he was like yeah throw that in there that's good so we just kept doing it and the video of funkified it's a 70s funk. I mean, my mom's in there, everybody's in there. They got afros and tight bell bottoms, long eyelashes, all kind of stuff. I mean, just pure funk. And me and Jermaine broke into it and we kind of just grooved and we just turned apart. My working relationship with Jermaine is tight. We put Funkify together in about three months. Um, I watched things Brett did, 
shit just didn't happen to me or some shit just happened to somebody else or some shit just going on. And just looking at how she lived her everyday life. When I sit down to write a song, I mean, it's basically just the beat. And like what we used to do was come in the studio, I might come up with a beat. It's, the beat gives me... Boom, boom. The beat give me everything I need, I guess. It make me, you know, feel it. So, um, what? I write to the beat. The beat is what inspired me. She start vibing. When that shit loud, I sit right like... Like right bobbing their heads. And the speaker be loud as hell in my ear. Can you bump up the track a little bit? I want to hear that. Boom, boom. And start writing lyrics. I was writing my own lyrics in the corner. She was writing her own lyrics in the corner. We just came at each other and was like, what you got? What you got? And we cut that shit up and then listen to it, then cut it down. Then we just start busting at each other. That's basically how that went down. We met our motherfucking deadline, so that's all that count. Easy. Hey, just put me a beat on, Jermaine. Ha! You gotta come in here with me, though, kid. We gotta get some encouragement. Come on, JD, don't flex, nigga. But then I ain't doing it. <laughs> To freestyle is to live, to me. You can express yourself, you know what I mean? It's like, if I want to talk about your ass and I don't want to just come out and say, motherfucker, you stank, I might rap the shit and then it'll be funny or some shit. It's real shit open. If you want to, you can come and get your on. I don't know what the fuck you're playing, but it's kind of cool when it make me feel like I'm in the mood. and light up a blunt, go to feed my dog. That's the way we spark in the motherfucking dog. Thank you to the But I'm saying freestyling is just a part of my life. It only make me get better and shit. You know what I mean? I just be walking around rapping and I might say some shit I like that I might want to use in a motherfucking song. Come on, come on. If you want to get some, I can put it down to B R A T. Yeah. Baby, if you want to get down, we can do that. Brad puts it down just like Craig Max sometimes gets stuck. But I don't give a who I can't say that on TV. Ain't nothing bad about freestyling. Every rapper need to know how to do that shit. So when they called up on to put it down, they could come through. Baby. I gotta quit saying that shit. It's like some shit I just keep saying. Big baby. You know what? I just heard some niggas saying it around my house. Baby, baby. I don't know where the hell they got it from, but I got it from them. And then I start hearing it everywhere. That's right, big baby. Big baby. For you, big baby. So it's just some shit that spread across the world, I guess, because now it's all on TV. Everybody said. Hey, big baby. That ain't my name. Raggedy. For all y'all was fun, cause Raven Simone was in there, you know, and I got to play like a, a character or whatever, like more of a role, like a big sister or whatever, and she wanted to follow me around and go to the party and stuff. I was like everybody's little sister, so I guess I could relate. Man. When most kids are small, you know, they be, you know, they be wanting to do this. They, they see stuff on TV and they just want to be like famous like those people. They might be going through some shit in school where they ain't got no juice, you know what I'm saying? They just want to be big like the people they see on TV. So it like for all y'all video shoot, the little kids was like loving me. And I'm saying I was loving that shit. I ain't trying to be like a role model or nothing, but it feel good when they look up to you. I don't got like no sisters and brothers and shit. I got a gang of motherfucking cousins that used to always be at my grandmama's house. So, it was Christmas. Everybody got their gifts, you know. I got some dolls and some easy bake ovens and shit like that. I ain't want to play with that shit. I, my grandmama was cooking enough. I ain't need to bake no shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't want to play with no dolls. What do you do but talk to your motherfucking self when you talk to the dolls? That shit drive a nigga crazy. So, I went in the other room and shit and got on the phone and called my grandparents and some more people and told them what I wanted. God damn it, I wanted a drum set. I wanted a keyboard. I wanted a bunch of shit. And then everybody started cussing me out and calling me a brat and shit. But, my grandmama and them came to my rescue. What to get? The brat prevails. One for the money. Two for the bank. Three to get you going. Cause the brat's in the play. You know what? I've been getting called a brat like since I was 
around six or seven. That's my favorite line, boy. Then I ain't doing it. I used to didn't like that shit. It used to piss me off because everybody would say being a brat was bad. Ain't shit wrong with getting things you want. And get it however you gotta get it. I gotta get mine, you gotta get yours. I can give y'all some tips, but it depends on what side of the boat you're talking about. If you're talking about with your man, or if you're talking about just getting shit you want, period. I mean, it depends on the situation. So I've learned that love's not possession. My new single is just dropping. Produced by Jermaine Dupree. Written by Chris Kelly and Jermaine Dupree. I ain't trying to brag, but this, this month, not too long ago, you know what I'm saying, big baby? I had a platinum party. <laughs> I'm the first female solo artist to go platinum. Niggas didn't think, I guess, that a woman, a bitch, or whatever you want to call it, could do that shit. It's a tough thing to do, and she did it, so we're here to support all of them. We're all families. Congratulations to the brat. It's all good, you know what I'm saying? You know, there's not enough women rappers, and she's obviously real special. We need more like her. Group, but they still won't let us in because we're too young. It's kind of messed up. But. We can already do it up in Atlanta now. No doubt. Y'all gotta give it up for the brat. You're up sitting next to my fucking door. No. East Coast represent. West Coast represent. The first solo female to go platinum. You know what I'm saying? Evan rap history. Right? You know what I'm saying? Because these females have been struggling out here for a minute. This awesome women shit. I'm saying, can y'all help light get up? This MC Light in the motherfucking house, you know what I'm saying? She's starting this shit off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get everybody on stage? Mike Ball, then here go Tony Anderson. Latanya, my man David Nelson in the motherfucking house, video directing shit. Brett, from So So Deaf, Columbia Work. We want to present you with, a, you know what I'm saying, Platinum Plaque. First female solo rapper to go platinum. No doubt, we proud, you know what I'm saying, that you gotta be the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta have the whole shebang, baby, for the shit to go right. I ain't trying to brag and say I got the whole shebang, but my crew trump tighter than a motherfucker, baby. <laughs> you know, she's all that. You know, she's all that. And a bag of chips. That's a lie. That's a lie. Barbecue. Girl, I love you. Nobody loves you like Big Les loves you. Blow up, baby. I am on your side. Well, Les, what can we say about this heifer? <laughs> When I was at the party, y'all, <laughs> I was kicking it. Biz Markie DJ. Um, and Houdini performed, you know what I'm saying? And when we're at the party, we turn it out. Cause that's what Houdini is all about. When you go out to have fun, you just trying to kick it. You don't want to get shot in the ass and shit. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, my party was all right. Niggas didn't get hurt. Niggas had a good time. Niggas got fucked up. We the fuck home, did what they wanted to do. If they wanted to do like me, they got some dick. <laughs> Here's to a million, baby. Here's to a million more. I say here's to a million, baby. Hate to tell y'all that I got to go. Cause right now I'm tired of being in the camera and in the spotlight. I wanna go get my group on the rock and right. And if you don't understand, I'ma have to show you what the rat gon' do. And if you want to, you can come to the stage and get your groove with me. I put you down all around the beat. All right, 18 chin. The hardest thing about being a, a female rapper, I guess, is you don't get your props or your whatever you call it as quick as males do. You know, like, some guys ain't platinum yet and they get more notoriety or, you know what I mean? But it don't matter because we still gonna come up and we still gonna do what the fuck we gotta do and get eyes, baby. So don't you worry about nothing. Right about now, you know what I'm saying? We gonna take y'all in and let y'all see how we do these records. To the motherfucking marijuana, nigga. Marijuana. Word. Amen. My country tis and thee. I'm saying, don't y'all got enough so y'all can just <laughs> put this shit together? Oh, don't try to cut it off now while y'all talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, so I guess this almost the end, huh? Damn, I had fun with all y'all niggas. Hope y'all had fun. Peeping this shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause it ain't nothing but a motherfucking G thing, a Chicago thing, an Atlanta thing, and I'm faded. Peace, love, and soul to all my brothers and sisters. <laughs> Right about now, oh, on the John Stewart show. Everybody in the house, you can get up, you know what I'm saying? We about to party in here. Oh, say what? Say what? Can everybody clap if their hands? If you know it, sing it. Come on, check it out. Uh, open up your toes, open up your toes, let the funk flow in from this homie Jay and his new fam friend. I'm hitting switches like Eric on the solo creep for your Jeep. It's the BR 18. Putting a dip in your hip from right to left. And on top of all that, I'm so, so dead. Well, yo, that's my clip. Hey, homie, that's who I rose with, and we kiss nothing but the fat shh. Them calls me the funkified, funkalistic, vocalistic that they ain't ready for, but they just don't hit me though. Why? Because we're so funkified. Why? We make it move from side to side. Well, it's the GH to ETT. Oh, ooh, Brett and JD coming like that, baby. Uh -huh. So lay back and listen as I catch up on my pip and then freak this duet. Everybody like in the house, just wave, just, just wave your hands from side to side. Just wave your hands from side to side. Just wave your hands from side to side. Lay back. back. When it comes to the brunt, tat, 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 I make your neck snap back Meaning I got the hit, better get your bit Tearing the roof off this mother like parliament I'm on a roll and control like Janet Hey yo, Brett, you the funk better and they can't handle it I know, that's why I keep hitting them with this grammar Letting all y'all know that I'm the real mama jammer uh -huh. Straight to the head like a chronic sack I passed the mic to the Brett And yo, I passed it back Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I be the J I provide the funk that you hear play play We be breaking these fools off proper life It's S-O-S-O-D-E-F dynamite, right? I'm coming up, coming up, coming up at you like Ralph K And since this ain't no honeymoon, I'm here to stay And the way we Coming at you, baby, we came in There's a new tag team in town Oh, who that is? So, Check it out so, Say what? So, now everybody just yeah. wave your hands from side to Let side me see you. Just wave your hands from side to Let side me see Just wave your hands from side to side Lay back with the brat and get funked Yeah, fire. say like funked to five Say funked to five Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator.